Well, good evening, everyone. God bless you from all over the world. All over the world. We are Pastors Leroy and Betty Barnes. Good evening, you everyone. Forgot your name? Absolutely okay. not. I don't want to forget her name. I'm Mrs. Not. Barnes. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. Good evening, everyone. We're Pastors Leroy and Betty Barnes, Good the proud evening. pastors of Relentless yes, Global Church. Yes, we are. God bless And you. we are here today to share the word of the living God. We hope that you were all blessed and had a wonderful day, and, and we had a blessed day as well. But at yes, the same we time, uh, we got to take time to also remember those uh, who were in, was it Uvalde? Yes, it was. Uvalde. Texas. Let's make sure as the church, we don't have to know uh, the families, but we are the church. We can feel their hurt, feel their pain, their yes. suffering. Uh, and as the body of Christ, it is up to us to intercede and to pray and pray that the comforting ministry of the Holy Spirit will minister on behalf of all these families who lost their loved ones in this particular situation. Yes. Uh, but there's hope because uh, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord, especially when you're dealing with children. Yes. So we pray for the families and let's, uh, as a church family and, and those who are pastors, prophecy, families, the fivefold ministry gifts, it is our uh, authority and position to lead the body in, of Christ to pray for those who are going through difficult challenges such as this. So let's make sure we pray for those families. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you all for that. Amen. Also, uh, in 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 um, in lieu with what you're saying, we have already made calls just to our kids personally because our kids are attending school. Correct. Pastor and I, we love you guys, and y'all mm -hmm. know that mm -hmm. we are a place where love reigns. But if there's anything that you need to talk about, you know, right. you have access to uh, uh, either Pastor and I, and we could just make sure that every need is met in Jesus' name and that you don't have to be alone. So we are so grateful for you. Absolutely. So we made the phone calls to reach out yes, to our have. children, yes, uh, part of the, our church family, to make sure, you know, when you hear things like that, everybody can handles news like that differently. Yes. But our God is still alive. Yes, he uh, is. We still in the kingdom of God. And it is the Lord that will heal us, make us whole, and prosper our way. So, again, let's make sure we continue to pray for those in your valley. So, anything else, Pastor Ben? Yes, I do. I just All want right. to congratulate. We have several people that call in today and stated that they will not be a part of the services online yeah. because they are going to attend graduations. Graduation. Yes, yes. Graduations. high school graduations. Actually, on this past Sunday, we celebrated all of our kids on honor roll. It's so amazing. That's right. Uh, uh, our seniors, our middle school, that's elementary trans children, yeah. elementary kids, <laughs> as well as our middle school transitioning to high school. And of course, high Amen. school going Amen. to college. God is doing great things with our children. Absolutely. So many kids had honors. I think they smart like they pastor. Of course. <laughs> Praise God. They <laughs> smart just like they pastors. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> but we are so grateful to God and we love them. They're doing so wonderful. And, They're going to yeah. leave a mark in this world. And I'm telling you, mm -hmm. God is using them in significant ways. Amen. Parents, thank Glory you for God. bringing them to the house so they can receive a word. Not mm -hmm. only get the educational things, mm -hmm. but they're getting a spiritual foundation so that they'll be able to apply it and be very successful in life. So we just appreciate and applaud you and, for your good job. And like we've given the confession to our adult parents, of yes. course, to continue to not be weary and well-doing. Let's yes. stay focused on confessing the word, praying for our children, yes. covering them with the blood of Jesus Christ, sending angels and dispatched angels to protect our children because we're in a kingdom. God has to protect us he and is. keep us. Amen. And so we, you can rest. Yes. <laughs> Glory to God's going to be a part of our lesson. You can rest knowing that the Lord takes care of his own as well in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, let's go into, straight into the word on tonight. We have, we're uh, starting a new series of teachings. We started one on Sunday. We we're talking about the kingdom of God. And Amen. tonight, we're going to teach on a lesson in the next couple of uh, weeks entitled The Amazing Gift of Favor. Wow. The Amazing God. Gift of Favor. Yes, it so, is. So, what is favor? Favor in the Hebrew is a word called charis or charis, C H A R I S. Mm. It's defined as, watch this, I love this illustration. It's defined as God stepping into one situation. To make a worthwhile difference. It is God stepping in favor. Yes. It is God stepping into one situation yes. and making a worthwhile difference. And that's that's what we're praying for those at Uvalde. We're praying for you as well. That the favor of God would be upon those families. The Amen. favor of God would be upon the church. Amen. The favor of God would be upon your life. 
Uh, it is it, it is defined as cherish or favor. It's defined as grace because those two words are inexchangeable. Grace, it means kindness. And man, can we use more of that in the church? <laughs> yes. To be kind. Yes. To be kind to your brothers and sisters in the Lord. Uh, charity, meaning giving. It means charity. It means service or goodwill. Uh, the dictionary defines favor as something granted, done out of goodwill. Or excessive kindness. I like that definition. Excessive kindness. Uh, favor or favored is defined as uh, treated with preference mm -hmm. or given special advantages. Can you write that back to me, yes. to, to Pastor? Say favor is special advantage. Special That's advantage. what it is. It is special advantage. Amen. Favor is providing aid, mm -hmm. advantages, or favorable position. It means to assist. Amen. It means to assist. Favor is kindness or grace, as I said before. It means divine assistance. Oh my goodness, that that yes. that is a it's a special grace. It's a it's a it's a special anointing that comes from the throne room of heaven, yes. and it gives you or grants you divine assistance. Come divine on, write that one down assistance. and say, I receive, I receive divine divine assistance. I receive assistance. divine assistance. Amen. It is an anointing of increase in prosperity because favor brings forth prosperity as well. Because there are people say, oh, there they go again. Oh, be quiet. <laughs> At the end of the day, our God prospers yes, us. Yes, he does. No, no, we're not talking about prosperity churches in that sense. But no, we got to know when, when we teach the word of God correctly yes. and we teach it from a place of love and yes. humility, uh -huh. our God prospers us. Yes. I receive prosperity too. Amen. Amen. Listen to this quote. People who do not like you because of favor, uh -huh. they will give to you. Yes. People who don't like you because the favor of God rests upon you, they will give to you. So let's look at an illustration of it. Exodus chapter 12, verse 35. We're looking at the children of Israel, and they're getting ready under the leadership of Moses to get ready to leave Egypt. Amen. But they're leaving broke. So what does God do? He grants them favor. So yes, what does he yes. tell them through the prophet Moses? Yes. Verse 35. Now the children of Israel, Israel had done according to the word of Moses, the man of God, and they had asked the Egyptians, watch this, their enemies. Hmm. They asked the Egyptians for articles of silver, gold, and clothing. But when you read it in other translations, that's why when you study the Bible, at least read it up to three different translations. Okay. You will find that it was fine clothing. It wasn't just some rags to put on like we're going out to work on a car, to build up, work on a roof on a house. It wasn't though. It was fine linen, yes. silver, gold, and Fine linen. Haggai, the prophet Haggai, chapter 2, verse 8 says, Silver and gold is mine, says the Lord. Mm -hmm. So why can't the Lord bless you with silver and gold? Why can't the Lord bless you with fine linen? Why can't God bless you with a good quality life? Because the silver and the gold belongs to the Lord. Haggai, chapter 2, verse 8. But watch what he says in verse 36, Exodus 12 and 36. Mm -hmm. And the Lord had given the people what? Favor. In the sight of the Egyptians, Egyptians, so that they granted them whatever they requested. Ooh. God can anoint you with favor that he will bring you and make peace with your enemies. Your enemies can give to you. Now watch this. If your enemies have that ability, how about those that love you? That's right. Can you imagine that? If God can touch the heart of my enemies to bless me, yes. then you definitely know that God can bring goodness to my life. Amen. Isaiah 55 and 1. Isaiah Amen. 55 and 1 says these words. Amen. Everyone who thirsts, mm. come to the waters. Yes. You who have no money to buy, you can buy and you can eat. Whew. Come buy wine. Come yes. buy milk. Buy without money and without price. Yes. What is that? Yes. Favor. That is. That's right. Because <laughs> how can you buy without money? Yes. Favor. People will just give to you because they like you. Yes. And they don't even know why. But I'm telling you the answer to the why is favor. favor. Let me give you 10 examples of favor. Amen. Increased assets. Mm -hmm. Come on now, receive it. Receive it. Supernatural increase. Yes. You don't know how it happened, but God yeah. stretched the food. <laughs> you don't know how it happened, but you never run out. You don't know how it happens, but you still got a job and, and got a raise while others got laid off and, and, and got demoted. Yeah. 
you got promoted, but you never got demoted. Mm -hmm. What is that? Favor. Mm -hmm. It is number three, promotion. Number four, restoration. Number five, honor. Six, preferential treatment. They just bring you up to the front. And all of a sudden, people looking at you like, who is that? Yes. Well, it's, it's the favor of God that's on my life. Amen. It represents victory. Amen. Number eight, it's, 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 it's uh, petitions that have been granted. I've been praying about this boy. I've been praying about this girl. And all of a sudden, they turn their lives around. Right. That's, that's, that's petitions granted right. because there's favor on my life. Yes, it is. Number nine, policies and rules change to benefit me. me. Yes. If he has to make the sun to stand still like he did for Joshua. Yes. Come on. <laughs> That's the favor of God favor that will God. benefit me. Yes. And number 10 is prominence. God will make you look smart. God will make you look educated. And they don't realize, I don't know two, I don't know what two plus two is. Uh -oh. But because of the favor of God, yes. he brings forth prominence in my life. Praise God. We're talking yeah. about the supernatural favor of God. Let's look at Psalms chapter 5, verse 12. Psalms chapter 5, verse 12. Say to me tonight, Pastor, I receive the anointing of favor. Come on, say, I receive the anointing of favor. Psalms chapter 5, verse 12 says, For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. Well, how? Watch this. You, O Lord, will bless me the righteous. I'm yes. the righteousness of God in Christ yes. Jesus. Yes, he is. So clearly, I'm the righteous he's yes. talking about. Yes. How is he going to bless me? Wow. With favor. Amen. The blessing of the Lord makes rich and has no sorrow no. with it. Yes. But the blessing of the Lord also produces favor. favor. Yes, with favor, you will surround him as a shield. Mm. So number one, naturally and spiritually, you prosper. Why? Mm -hmm. Favor. Favor produces supernatural rest. Come on. Ooh, glory to God. That's good. Favor produces a supernatural rest. What is that? That's my faith. Yes. I believe God has favored me. Amen. Every day I'm expecting someone to do me good. I'm glory not looking for evil. I'm not looking for a broken heart. I'm not looking for a flat tire. Yes. I'm not looking for, for something negative to happen in my life. No, I'm expecting preferential treatment. I'm yes. expecting favor to abound. I'm expecting favor to double for my trouble and double for my shame. I'm expecting yes. favor. Amen. It's a supernatural rest. Supernatural Number three, Favor is joy and peace experienced despite my challenges. Wow. Favor is joy and peace. <laughs> hey, DeAndre, I see you. God bless you. Joy and peace experienced despite my, my negative situation. So it doesn't matter what's going on around my life. Yes. Because of the favor of God, I experience, I experience joy and I experience peace. And it comes from the inside. Yes. Don't focus on what the natural circumstances are on the outside. Know that because of this favor, yes. joy and peace, I experience it. Thank you, Lord. And lastly, number Glory seven, God. the word shield here, because it says your favor will surround me with a shield. Uh -huh. The word shield here is the Hebrew word uh, tesena. T-S-I-N-I-A. It, it says, it means a standing tall. It means a standing shield protecting the entire body. It's, it's as tall as you are. It's a shield that protects. So what is God saying? I will keep you safe. I will protect you at all, all times. times. Yes. You, you don't have to worry. You don't have to stress. The Lord shall protect you. The yes. Lord shall protect your children. Yes. The Lord will protect your husband, your wife. The Lord will protect his own. Praise he is God. a, he grants you favor as favor. a shield. Yes, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, let's look at this one. Let's look at, let's look at this one. God is the God of all favor. Come yes. on, can you write that one down? <laughs> God is the God of all favor. Amen. Watch this. Amen. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 7. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 7. Amen. When a man's ways please the Lord. Please the Lord. <laughs> You gotta bring character into your life again. This is the year of the manifested glory of the Lord, and it shall be seen. Yes. How is it gonna be seen? Through the favor that God places on my life. Because that's the God. word of the Lord for the year. Thank you, Lord. When a man's ways, his character 
pleases the Lord. Not the character you show in front of everybody, <laughs> but the character at home. Uh -oh. See, see, you shouldn't curse around your grandchildren and your children in the public, but why would you do it in the private? Yeah. That's not character. Character is your ways publicly, your ways privately. Yeah. They both please the Lord. And what happened? He makes, there's the favor. Amen. He makes even your enemies yes. to be at peace. At Oh my, the Lord gave me this today because this is the favor of God. When you walk in character, yes. when you walk in righteousness, yes. he makes even your enemies to be at peace. That's the favor of God. Yes. Number one, God through this favor mm -hmm. can bless the most difficult of relationships Woo! to be at peace. Be at peace. You better hear me tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. This kind of favor can make the most difficult Difficult of all relationships to be at peace, but you gotta walk. You gotta walk in character. You gotta trust the Lord. Yes. God can change the heart of your husband. Yes. God can change the heart of your wife. God can restore your relationship with your children. Yes. But it's gonna take favor. Everybody favor. shout favor. Favor. Proverbs eighteen and twenty two, well known scripture. Yes. Proverbs eighteen and twenty two. <laughs> God is the God of all favor. All favor. He who finds a wife. <laughs> finds a good thing yes. and obtains what? Favor, Favor from, the from the Lord. But watch how the Holy Ghost gave it to me. Mm. The he is not me. <laughs> That's the he is it's Christ. Him. It's him. That's it. The wife is not my baby born. Uh -huh. The wife is the church. Yes. When Christ finds the church and marries the church, his bride, yes. God grants Jesus favor. Now, you can keep it in the natural realm like we always do. Well, a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing, and obtains favor with the Lord. Well, praise God. I have favor because I married a good woman. Yeah. So if that's what you want to accept, well, praise God. Yeah. But can we go deeper into deeper. the realm of the spirit and find out that the he is Christ yes. and the wife is the church? Yes. And when you come inside of Christ, yes. <laughs> he grants you favor, favor that's already on you yes. because I'm in him. Christ, Amen. you obtain favor yes, we are. of the Lord. Amen. Christ received his father's favor because of his obedience Amen. to marry the bride. His obedience to die for his bride. Woo. Because the, the Christ died for the church. Christ died for his bride. Yes, so he, he sacrificed for his wife and it brought about favor. favor. Yes. Yes. I can prove it to you to the scriptures. I Thank can prove it to you. you. Let, let, let me prove it to you how Jesus received it. Yes. Luke chapter 2, verse 52. Luke chapter 2, verse 52. God is the God of all favor. Yes. Watch what the Bible says about Jesus and this favor. Mm. And Jesus, Luke 2, 52. Mm -hmm. And Jesus, ooh, yes. Thank you, Lord. Increased. That means it kept going. Yes. Up, up, up. Mm -hmm. In wisdom. That's a relationship with God because James said, he who lacks wisdom should ask the Lord. Well, you can't ask the stranger. So he's in relationship with his yes. heavenly father. Yes, he, is. He, he He increased in wisdom. He increased in stature. You, you would think that's height and weight, but that's not what it is. It's moral character. He increased in living right behind the scenes. Ooh. When men couldn't see him, he still kept right. his character. Yeah. Yeah. See, you, you should be a pastor in the public. Uh -oh. You should be a pastor in private. Uh -huh. if, if you're a good wife in public, you should be a good wife in private. Yes. If, 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 you, if, <laughs> if you don't beat up your wife in public, you don't do it in private. If you don't disrespect your husband in public, you shouldn't do it in private. I'm here to tell you that Jesus increased in stature. He increased in character. Character does what? The Bible says when you got wisdom and you have stature, moral character, it equals out into favor. Favor with God and man. Amen. Glory to God. That's awesome. Yes. And Jesus, if Jesus had to have favor, what about you? Wow. The Bible says Jesus increased in it. He increased in wisdom, relationship with God. He increased in stature. Stature, moral character. And what did it, it produce? It produced favor. Favor here is translated grace or is translated into divine influence. Mm. Favor, Amen. divine influence. Amen. Jesus said in John 11 and 42, mm. because of this favor, when he prayed to his father, he says, I know you always hear me when I pray. Why? He had favor with his father. Mm. You can't go, listen to this quote. You can't go further 
than God's favor allows. So watch this. If that's true, and it is, then how do I increase my favor? You increase your relationship with God. Mm. You, you draw nigh unto God. Yeah. God will draw down to you. Yeah. You pursue him through his word. Yeah. You pursue him through prayer and meditation of the word. Mm -hmm. Because favor can be increased. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ralph Hightower. God bless you, Brother Ralph. Good to see you tonight. Let's look at, as we prepare to close. Mm -hmm. God grants favor to all who can believe. Wow. God grants favor to those who can believe. Amen. Let's look at Genesis. Let's look at an example of Joseph, Genesis 39 and 4, yeah. because there are many examples we can give you. Let's, let's give you a couple of then we'll close for tonight. Amen. Genesis 39 and 4 says, so Joseph, mm -hmm. Joseph's name meaning God will add or God will give. That's what Joseph, his name means. Mm -hmm. So Joseph found favor. Amen. You can't find what you're not looking for. Mm -hmm. He had a heart to pursue his God. Yes. And because he pursued his God, God placed on his life favor. Yes, he did. Joseph found favor in the sight of God and served his God. Then he made him overseer or he promoted him over his house. He promoted Joseph. He promoted him because he sought after God. God granted him favor. Then what else did God grant unto Joseph? And all that he put in his hand, he placed in his hand authority. What's that? Kingdom. Kingdom. It's authority. It's rule. It's dominion. Mm -hmm. So what, let's read it again slowly here. Joseph means God will add. He found favor because he pursued his God. Yeah. And favor did what? It increased on Joseph's life to where it promoted him to overseer. Yeah. It promoted him to a man of authority. Yeah. And I declare over you tonight, Relentless Global Church, Amen. because of this same grace, yes, may sir. God call this grace, may God cause this favor yeah. to bless your marriage. Yes, may God yes. cause this favor to bless your health. May yes. God cause this favor to bless you on your jobs and to cause promotion and increase. increase. I am Joseph. Yeah. I receive this grace. In Jesus <laughs> I am Joseph. Come on, can you write that back? I am, I am Joseph. Joseph. Yes. And I receive this favor. Ooh, receive glory this to favor. God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Genesis 6 and 8 said, yes. and Noah <laughs> found grace, yes. found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Yes, so, so let me give you four examples of this and we'll pick it up on next, next Wednesday. Okay. Noah found grace. He pursued his God. Listen to me, people of God. Yes. These are men and women of God, as we'll see as we, we go along with the, with the favor message. Yes. These are people who wanted God. Mm. These were not half-hearted Christians. These were not lukewarm Christians. Right. These were people who had a passionate pursuit of their God. Yeah. They went after him. God didn't have to chase them. Wow. Thank you, they yes. sought God, yes, and God did. granted them Thank favor. Yes. So let's look at Noah, number one. He, 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 yes. he, he set an example of righteousness yes. in his generation, mm -hmm. Noah. He set a standard of righteousness in his generation. Because when you know the story of, of Noah, everybody in the world sinned against God. There was none, and God caused the flood to kill all those who were not righteous. Yes. The only ones that lived was uh, Noah and his family. Mm -hmm. So Noah was the standard of of righteousness and favor to his family. Number two, he believed God and was faithful. And even though the world was going crazy in the days of Noah, Noah remained faithful to his God. Noah didn't get off track. Noah didn't get into his flesh. Noah continued to go after God. And number three, he, like, he Noah, like Enoch, walked with God. Yes. Even when it wasn't popular. Ooh. Even when it didn't, feel, didn't make him feel good. He stayed faithful. Faithful to God and walk with God. And God granted him, because of his obedience, favor. Yes, he did. And number four, oh, lastly wow. tonight. That's good. He, like Abraham, mm -hmm. <laughs> Noah, set a standard yes. of favor. My God. To where his children remembered it all the days of his life. Noah's Rivers. children taught it yes. to their children. Yes. Taught it to their children. Yes. Taught it to their children. Yes. Always honor God. Yes. Remain faithful to the call of God on your life. But stay, yes. stay faithful in your marriage. Stay Amen. faithful to your children. Stay, stay faithful, faithful to God. the kingdom of God. Stay yes. faithful to your church. Stay faithful yes. to your pastors. And I guarantee you, yes. favor yes. will increase on your life. Amen. Thank you. God. You can buy without money. Yes, we can. 
You can be made whole. Yes, you can. You can prosper and be in health as your soul prospers. Amen. You don't have to run out. You don't have to lack. Why? Favor abounds and it continuously abounds. Amen. So lastly tonight, say, I receive. The God kind of favor. The God kind of favor. Amen. Glory Praise to God. God. That is I'm going to enjoy this series. <laughs> There's favor on your life. Yes. Saints, everything in the word of God yes. is received by faith. Listen, yes. don't walk in fear. Yes. Don't walk in doubt. Wow. Don't walk in unbelief. Keep a high standard of yes. faith. Keep a high standard of favor. And things that you will believe for, they will just come to you. Be a, you'll, you'll, be a, you'll be a magnet. Blessings will come to you. The Bible says favor will surround you. People will be looking for you. And I'm here to tell you, I declare it over you. Yes. I prophesy this over you. They are looking for you to do you good. And they'll ask, you'll ask them, why did you do it? And they'll say, I don't know why I did. I just, I just, yes. I just wanted to be a blessing to yes. you. And you and I will understand this <laughs> yes. is the favor of God, God. on my Receive. life in Jesus' name. In Jesus. So God bless you tonight. Make sure that you continue to stay connected, man. We, we have two worship experiences yes, at Relentless Noble Church, God and that's bless. an 8.30 service and a 10 a.m. service, and they go relatively quickly. They're about an hour or so. And come, let's come back to church. Let's come back to the, to the kingdom of God. The, the Bible says, come back to your first love. Yes. Come back to church so we can teach you Jesus. Come yes. back to church so we can teach you the kingdom. Yes. Come back to church. Come on, right back to me again and say, come back to church. Come back to church. Glory to God. <laughs> Our website is www.relentlessnoblechurch.org. Our phone number is 713-936-6848. Our email address is info at relentlessglobalchurch.org. And of course, if you'd like to write us, our P.O. Box is Relentless Global Church, P.O. Box 2202, Houston, Texas, 77252. And be a blessing. So a seed. You know, you know, we're Linux Global Church. We're great, we're great givers. Let's continue to be obedient in the area of our giving. And, of course, we had our church anniversary. And those who made those financial commitments, continue to keep your commitment and sow Amen. towards that, that seed, towards uh, uh, the uh, church anniversary as well. Glory to God. We are two years, and we honor God for the two years. Amen. Amen. We've Thank come this far Lord. by faith. We've come this far by Favor. favor. Amen. And so for those of you who are visiting, and thank you for joining us tonight, but you can always sow a seed and, and be a blessing to the kingdom of God if this word has been a blessing to you. And we bless you and honor you tonight. May the Lord favor you. Amen. Pastor Ben, anything else you'd like to say? Thank you for joining. Please press the share button That's and right. share press with the your share family button. and friends. We know that the word of God was good. Talking about the favor of God and yes. just, just living a victorious lifestyle. So we are so grateful for the word. And we thank you for taking our time and tuning in to the message on this evening. And we're looking forward to seeing you soon. We got some great things coming forth in the next few months. We're getting ready to share some things with the church about those things and, and the fel different fellowships that we're going to be doing. We're going to do kingdom. We're going to expand and grow because the kingdom of God is, is, is a, it's like a tree. We, we sow a seed. It grows to a big tree. <laughs> and the birds rest upon it. That's what the Bible yes. says. You'll give rest to others because you're in the kingdom. Amen. That's the favor of God as well. So God bless you. We love you tonight. So thank you for joining us, Miss Patrice. Amen. D. Thank you for joining us tonight, D. D. And the, and and the, and the Jones household. We bless the Jones household. Amen. Yes, we do. I know God she's smiling you. at me right now. So God bless you all. Have a wonderful, restful love evening. You. Have a wonderful, blessed week. And we will see you all on Sunday. Sunday. God bless you, Miss Angela. We see you, Miss Angela. Anybody else want to give a shout out, babe? Uh, congratulations <laughs> to Miss Angela's daughter. They're heading out that way right now. Amen. Graduations. Graduations. Yeah. Well, we will hey. be tuning in shortly. God bless you guys. Miss Margaret, you and Miss Rebecca, God bless you. The Beasleys. The Beasleys. We love you guys. Amen. Uh, the Good Karen, Family. The Good Banks, Tamara. Amen. Oh, we are praying for you guys. Y'all are so amen. victorious. Thank Shelly. God for we you. love you, Shelly Beasley. Is that Shelly? God bless you. We I'm saw Shelly. Call Shelly. <laughs> Patricia, God bless you. And we David. are Relentless Global Church where love, love reigns. reigns. God bless you. Have God a wonderful evening. We'll see you on Sunday. Love you.